This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is the 31st episode on the 14th of March 2017. And we have a new co-host with us. It is... Hello, I am Kiwa Grauber. Hi, man. Maybe some Yo. people... <laughs> Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, this I, I, I invited you more because I knew your YouTube persona <laughs> than anything else because I only saw your stage act like once. Yeah. And it was a new thing for you. Um, yeah, basically I'm an actor. Yes. And the show you know me from is my YouTube show called The Schneid Schneider Show, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of a satirical talk show which I film in my apartment with it's amazing with zero budget it's amazing yeah it's kind of a mixture of the Eric Andre show and between two ferns oh with, yeah. yeah that I would I would have picked that too yes yes yeah but you don't have the stunt budget of Eric Andre's show I don't even you have, would smash stuff if you had the I budget for it right absolutely would <laughs> I don't not only do I not have the stunt budget I don't have budget oh okay yeah see <laughs> You're really operating on a zero budget <laughs> yes. kind of deal. Okay. But it, it's fun and it's it's getting good response and has a yes. small but growing fan base. Yes. So check it out. Please. I am one of those guys. Like I called you out with your <laughs> stage name. Yeah. Like your YouTube name during the, the, the thing. Yeah, I, I did some interactive stand-up. Mm -hmm. It's what you are referring to. Yes. Yes, I am. <sighs> yeah, good stuff. What what did we what did we yeah do? yeah we yeah let let's move on to what the people came here for and that's the <laughs> third and last finally last movie in the sissy trilogy that gladly was only a trilogy because <laughs> the third one really was painful to watch in some regards holy fucking hell <laughs> like we we asked ourselves is this movie over now? Like at the yeah. 30 minute mark. <laughs> it's actually not that long. It's like under two hours. Yeah, it's 147 or something like that. It felt like a week. Yes. <laughs> we both went through hell. It's yes. like our, it's our Vietnam. But I, I must, uh, in, in your defense, I chose the movie. So mm -hmm. I, I'm taking all the blame here. But oh, I, yeah. I've grown. I'm, I'm now a better, stronger person. Because of it, yeah, you, came, feel, you my, came out superior. I feel like a soldier coming back from war. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, so after we went through the trenches of this movie, so the movie itself is, uh, the title is Sissi, Schicksalsjahre einer Kaiserin, or the English title Sissi, uh, the uh, fateful years of a young empress, or something like that. Yes, that or an sounds empress. about right. Yeah, something like that. And it was made in 1957. It still stars the Karl Heinz Böhm as Franz Josef, the Kaiser, and uh, um, Romy Schneider as the young Sissi uh, and uh, some uh, other dudes. Yes, and some, other, some other people and and some other people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right but, off the bat, I think Romy Schneider is really good in the movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She she really carries the Sissi role yeah. through this. Awful, <laughs> awful plot. And Karl Heinz Böhm yeah. looks like a fucking creep. Like oh yes, yes, but but his eyes are soulless. Yes. There's nothing there. There's no empathy. Like he he must have been like he was cuter in the first and the second movie, which I haven't seen and won't see. <laughs> yeah, you spoiled yourself. Everything that happened in those previous movies. That's not which the is reason. Nothing, but. We'll try at no. least to, to discern the plot now. Okay, well, well yeah. may, maybe I'll watch the other two for this or something else. I'll, I'll go through <laughs> hell again. Yeah. All right. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's discuss plot because there's not a lot of plot here. Well, uh, there's a lot of things happening, but there's not a lot of plot, as you said. Yeah. I, it, it starts off with this weird scene, like there's, which will go through the whole movie. There are scenes yes. that add nothing to the plot or have no explanation yes. whatsoever. And then there's some kind of plot scene that's... <laughs> <laughs> and a, a theme in this movie is repetition oh, and yes. exposition. Like, yes. everything is told a yes. hundred times. And this even split it up between, I don't know, four storylines? Well, if you can call it a storyline. 
But yeah. there, there, there's like a there's like a B and a C story. The B story is the one with the uh, the sister, uh, the the brother of Sissy marrying uh, an actress. Yeah, and it, it fucking then stops the, in the half of the of yeah. the movie. Then then we have the mayor, the major who who turns into. Uh, 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 yeah okay but let's start at the beginning yes it yes. starts it's, it starts off with some dude riding a horse and throwing roses or shredded paper something and yes you're not and some other dudes on, on horses follow him and you don't know if it's a chase or if it's a hunt yes and it turns out that scene is absolutely useless yes because <laughs> then out of nowhere we see sissy and franz and all the other riders are uh, it wasn't absolutely France. It wasn't France. Ah, it, was, some, uh, it was the you know, Hungarian Hungarian Andrashi. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other hunk in the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, like, what the, a beefcake. Yeah, they're all good looking. Like Th that's true. Yeah. Like there's there's no ago. Yeah. <laughs> that we can give them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they're, they're all six plus. Yeah. It's really boring, but at that. least the people are pretty. Yes, it's it, it it is a pretty movie to look at, but we're going to we're gonna do that in cinematography. Yeah. So, so there's suddenly this chase scene. Yes, and first we have the doves. Oh yeah. Or pigeons that form the word sissy. Oh yeah. The name sissy. That and no explanation for that. It just shows they have a title card, but they still were like, oh, pay, maybe people didn't pay attention what this movie is. So let's get. 500,000 pigeons yeah. and and put some grain on the ground. Yeah, the, 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 there must have been scene, real pigeons season. because it was yes. a time of no CGI. Yes, no. You, I haven't even thought about it. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Somebody had to like get all those pigeons into one some, place. Somebody worked on that. <laughs> yes. All right. So we have Sissy and Andrushi yeah. talking and out of nowhere, a bunch of gypsies come. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're in the they're in the woods somewhere yeah. where there's no civilization and suddenly yeah, and there's Sissy kids. Even says it, she likes that it, it's so unprotected here. Yeah, and then they they go to the gypsy hideout, I guess, and there yeah. you see a gypsy guy bashing a, a gypsy woman on the ass with a stick. Yes, or with the I don't know with some abuse. He, he's abuse. A, he, there is domestic abuse going yes. on. Gypsy domestic abuse. And Sissy comes to the rescue. Yeah. Somebody pours water over and they keep on beating each other. And again, a scene that adds to the plot absolutely nothing. Well, it adds that she gets pneumonia or something from it. And oh, oh, yeah. And that, what, that is, is it from that? I didn't even <laughs> I think pick it up on that. it was the water. It was just the water because he was like, oh, you're going to catch a cold. And I'm like, first of all, it looked really warm. And it was Hungarian summer. There's yeah. like 40 degrees outside. Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's really fucking hot in yeah. Hungary in that time. Catching a cold, like you have to go out of your way to get to get sick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and on my notes it says there's many random events with no necessity to the plot. And yes. Everything happens suddenly. Yes. So I think the subplots, uh, the subtitles should be suddenly sissy. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because she, there's a scene that she, she doesn't do anything. Like, yeah, she, she disappears and cut, and there's sissy again. It's yeah, suddenly sissy. Yeah, <laughs> like she disappears for like ten minutes sometimes <laughs> on a stretch, and she's like, "Oh no, I'm sick." Me, me, me. Maybe yeah. Rami Schneider was too expensive. To, like, oh maybe it. they were like after those two two first movies, they like ah, it already cost so much. Let's let's write in that she's sick and make maybe. make her disappear for like a third of the movie. All right, so she. <laughs> what we've seen so far is a bunch of horses, doves, and she gets wet with water, and yes. then yeah. suddenly we're with Franz, yes, who's talking some shit about Sissy and their aunt, and I. I what? what? Yes, what? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I, I, I don't even remember that anymore. I remember Franz, but they, they pretty much repeat everything you've heard in the scene oh, before. Yes, There's yes. repetition, and exposition. Yes, yes. yeah. Yeah, and we have like a political intrigue going on at the same time where, where Sisi tries to reconcile the uh, Hungarian royalty with the Habsburg house. 
something like I don't I don't remember. There's so much information in there that yeah, no, and is of and no reason to anybody of, of no use. Yes, and then there are some nuggets that you actually need and you don't remember them yeah. because it's then this stream you don't, of bullshit. You don't know what is important, what is not, because everything is presented in the same way. Yes, there's it's always dramatic. It's uh, all, yeah, it is a soap opera. Basically. Oh yeah, there's there's also this scandal going on like at this point we're introduced to i think her brother yes w with Max. the subplot you mentioned Max. like he's about to marry or actually already married oh yeah that was an a twist. actress that was a, such a good twist and like at first his, his father is please don't marry her and he's totally against it yeah. and then he says but i already did yeah. and then he's okay with it no it's, he sees the baby and then yeah he's they, okay they show him the, the two-year-old child which looks like a five-year-old child mm -hmm. and then he says well everything's going to work out fine yeah let's quickly make your your, yeah. your bourgeois w wife uh, uh, uh what a baroness I yeah he, he uses his contacts to make her like a, a person of royalty which is also yeah. a, a common theme in this movie is rich white people using their power and money to overcome problems mm -hmm. so that's also they, a common they, theme they, they, that they um, systemically build up themselves yeah. because all that royalty bullshit with the yeah. procedures and everything like that's shit that you cost yourself like you make <laughs> your own lives miserable only to solve it with mm -hmm. <coughs> with other bullshit We've talked about this um, before the recording session. It's basically a soap opera yeah. in the length of a very long movie. Yeah. yeah. It's rich white people doing rich white people shit yeah. and getting away with everything. Yes. Yes. There's and <sighs> yes, you you can do it. <laughs> breathe, breathe. <laughs> Take a deep breath. I'm getting a panic attack. But I'm, on the other side, really happy that I'm not <laughs> done with this trilogy. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna touch that again. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's This, it's, mo this movie is the equivalent to tequila. Yes. Because you drink it, you hate it, but for some reason you'll order another shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, because yeah. now I'm kind of intrigued how the other two yeah. movies are going yeah, to be. Yes. So, all right. So where are we <laughs> in the, at the plot? Yes, yeah. So uh, we have we have... Um, we are now at um, we we met the brother. Yes, and which the, the marriage we, at this thing. time is shown like it's a big big plot point. Yeah, and then and it like just disappears. Tw Twenty minutes later, we see him once more with the child, and yeah. that's it. He's Meeting never to mom. be seen again in the whole movie. Meeting her mom. Yeah. I my next point on my notes is just more exposition and repetition. Yeah. And we're suddenly back to sissy. Suddenly sissy. <laughs> and there's more ex exposition, more repetition. They talk about everything again, which we've seen so far. And the Mulachuk is mentioned. Oh, yes. Like yes. That, that Hungarian... And we are introduced again. I was so happy to... Uh, well, not... Uh, well, the first time that he does slapstick, I guess. M Major Plöckl. Yeah, there's a character called Major Plöckl. We'll get to him yes. soon. <laughs> and well the the thing is so um, Andrashi the Hungarian hunk is inviting Sissy to this uh, Hungarian party mm -hmm. which is called a Mulachak and they say the w word Mulachak I'm not kidding like at least 20 times in the span of 5 minutes yeah and it's like I'm going to a Mulachak do you know what a Mulachak is a Mulachak is something that the Hungarians do the Mulachak is the Mulachak is and, and yeah. just here. it's like a fucking pokemon or something <laughs> Mulachuk. <laughs> yeah. Mulachuk, use repetition exposition. Yes, it's very effective. <laughs> Padding yeah. out. Yeah, watch, watch her fell asleep. Yes. <laughs> Padding out the runtime. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> which that's is weird because... Fanning out the runtime is usually done with movies that are too short and mm -hmm. they need the padding. But this is a very long movie, like... Yeah, you could have I'm cut out 20 minutes. At least, Easy. like 30 minutes, easily. Yeah. There's all the, the subplots and random things, they don't fucking matter. And the matter. stock footage of ducks, oh, yeah. <laughs> ducks and cows. For no reason, like, they, yes. the, sometimes they do a transition scene suddenly. Like, yeah. there is a, 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 a flash cut, a very yeah. quick cut to you're in, you're in uh, Italy and then you're yeah. back in Vienna. And, and then at one time when they travel, there's suddenly like a minute of just carriage riding with yeah. showing ducks and cows. Right. And it's weird. Yes, yes. To it, say the least. No, I, I'm already pacing. used to it because they did that in the previous movies as well. Like they, they are very consistent in where, in the way they are they are made. They they are well it's also probably because they were shot back to back basically. Like they were released on a yearly schedule. 
like every year there was a new one out. It's like yeah. the Marvel Universe, but with, <laughs> with <laughs> the Sissy Verse. Yeah, the Sissy Verse. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was the, probably the Austria's first attempt at a, like a like a big thing, movie movie well, wise. It, it was really big at the time. Oh, wasn't it was, it? it's it's still huge. It has still a, a, yeah. a, trem a tremendous a tremendous following. Like yeah, like really we, great. We we talked about the it best. before. We've seen it as as children. Yeah, like my my mother watched it all the time, and I rather watch TV than go TV than go outside. Oh, yeah, and it was horrible. It was yeah. it was painful, and I'm still hurting. And now that I've seen it again, all these old w wounds <laughs> reopened, yeah. and I'm bleeding emotionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that that's gonna be ten hours with the, <laughs> the oh, therapist. therapy. Yeah, <laughs> at least. Uh, <laughs> And how did this make oh, yeah. you feel? <laughs> and at, at, in that Mullerchuk scene, like right before, as you mentioned, there is the introduction of the comic relief character, yeah. who is actually like at first I didn't like him because he didn't do that much, but he turned out to be my favorite character in the, in yeah. the movie. Like he's yeah, he he already knocked it out of the part yeah. uh, out of the park in the second part and in the first part. He was kind of the underling of the of the queen mom. Mm. So he was actually kind of a villain in the first part. Okay. Yeah, and he like flipped at the end of the first movie. They probably saw that they, that he was pretty liked, uh, pretty much liked by the audience. So. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he definitely not. Yeah, again, great acting. He, yeah. He's r generally you think that the guy it's himself, the actor himself, enjoys what he's doing at this yeah. moment. If anybody, which is basically just slapstick. Yeah. And being apparently a real ladies man at the, at the late, late later part of the movie yeah like what i really liked about him like this is a movie from the 50s yeah. and in austria film was pretty new at this time like well the, there was a f filmmaking they filmmaking already, already, already existed in what, the what, I'm, what i'm trying to 30s. say is the acting is very much it's theater acting oh yes in yeah, front yeah. of the traditional camera traditional yes. actors doing traditional like the, the over theatrical delivery of lines yeah. and looking the into pauses, the audience the where pauses. there is no audience yeah. and that guy the comic relief character he acts in a very modern comic timing yeah like it would it's still funny today it's not just i think it sticks out because it's something that would still be funny and considered funny today. It is funny. Yes, yeah, it is. We, 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 and we all the other all the other jokes fall flat because yeah. we're now used to camera acting. Like this is a different thing in theater. Oh acting. yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's he, too he, different. He was, he was very a real trailblazer worlds. for the Austrian film yeah. acting. Like he, he's he's very hilarious. Yeah, like, I, he, I he nail, he's he's physically funny and he he nails all his lines. Like he's. Yeah. He steals pretty much every scene. Yeah, he's and in. he's hundred percent committed. Even yeah. if he's in the background or something like that, he still is a hundred percent the 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 character. Yeah. And if anybody knows whose line is it anyway, he looks like Ryan <laughs> Styles. Yes. And if you don't know who that is, he looks Just like a grown up Doogie Howser. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Very very accurate. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Then we have. Do we already have the meeting then? Well, we can't jump there. I I don't. There's I don't care. I don't really <laughs> it's, care. It really doesn't matter. I like, don't really care. I don't, it I will don't all be just book. repetition and exposition. Yeah. Like the Mullah Chuck happens and yeah. Sissy shows up and everybody goes silent and then yeah. they like her. Right. But yeah, first yeah, they yeah. don't and then they do. Yeah. And the, which will happen again right, in the movie. The, does the does does the uh, the evil well not the evil the the rebel leader supporter Baron or what he is? Yes. Is he? Is he actually? Wait, does he even show up after that? Who? I don't know who you mean. Like she talks to that one, the, the young Baron or something like that, the one in the, with green. the, with the mustache. Yes. Yeah, yeah he well, shows. They all had mustaches. That, that's true. <laughs> uh, he shows up later and and like he talks to her and like she gives him. Um, she holds out his ha her hand and she yeah. he he kisses it. Yeah. And then later they have a scene. Where he is kind of in love with her, like he says. Yeah, totally. If, if there's people like you, I believe in faith. Yes. And then Andrashi comes in and cock blocks him. Yeah. <laughs> and he leaves again. Yeah. And that, that's the last we see of him. Do we ever see her do the Mullah Chuck? I don't nope. think so, right? Pretty much cuts, like, wh they while. Teased it, yeah, like, like for an hour. Yeah. And then while, while the Mullah Chuck is happening, she's just, like backstage and yeah. suddenly gets cramps. Like, this is the first time we oh. see that Sissy is now sick. Yes. And. That took her, what, days, right? It, pro it, it felt like days. And now we know, oh, Sissy is sick, which yeah. will be 
quote unquote important for the quote unquote plot. So unnecessary. <laughs> so funny. Uh, yeah, because she's really, really, really over dramatically sick. Like for the for, for the begin at the beginning at least, because she's like like a dying girl in yeah. a, in, a, in a in a in the bed all the time and like. Uh, I love you, my dear. <sighs> Life is draining yeah. out of me. And there's a lot of scenes I think are, that are not worth mentioning because oh, yes. it's just repetition, exposition oh, yeah. again, which is We're funny because a ton of I'm stuff. going to repeat the phrase repetition a lot because yeah, yeah. that's what that's the theme. Yes, I think that the next next theme I thought funny, which didn't try to be funny, is like Sissy is arriving at kind of a motel or hostel or hotel, uh, and and, and, the, and the, there's only the one proper, guest. The proper the proper uh, title would be probably an in. Well, yeah. fuck you, Mr. Linguistics. <laughs> no, you're right. It's it's probably an it's an in. <laughs> and there's only one guest. Yes. And the comic relief character, like we only see the, the guest from the back. Yeah. And the comic relief character tries to to he says to him, "Go out. Yeah, this yeah. is for for the queen." Yes. And he turns around and coincidentally, it's Franz. Yeah, it's the Kaiser Franz. Yeah, and they're all like, <gasps> they're like, Your wow. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <gasps> oh my God. Like, I'm they're, so they're sorry. They're yeah. in fucking nowhere. Oh, and, by and the way, the inn is called the the, the 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 sign for the inn just says "in" on it. All right, which is just the worst. <laughs> well, mm, I love this it, new place I went to called Hamburger <laughs> Restaurant. At mm. least it's it's true to its name, yes, so it's, there's no well, they're not lying. At yeah, least. it's really descriptive of what it is. But because, like the last time yeah. we saw Franz, like he was in Vienna, and suddenly he's coincidentally in the one in like in yeah. fucking nowhere, which sh- where where Sissy is. There's only one oh, road. God. There's yeah. only one road. All, all roads lead, lead to, to repetition. To, yeah. <laughs> And they, 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 they are happy that they're back together again. And then they're so... Like, it, it's kind of a cute scene for a second because, yeah. yay, lovers meet. Yeah. And then they do fucking small talk. Yeah, they, they just for, exchange like, notes. For, like, five minutes. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, you see this... Uh, well, this, it's, this, it's supposed to be this big love story. Yeah. And then they... they and then chat and kiss awkwardly and just oh not, did you not have only a nice awkwardly, day not only kiss the awkwardly it was the most awkward no no kiss. that i know which kiss you mean but that, uh, that kiss actually comes later oh okay but so, so we'll oh, tease shit. it and i'll remind you when it when yeah. it's when it's time for you to explain the awkward kiss oh yeah it's oh, it, that, it's great i that, fucking that, love that one that one disturbed me to the core <laughs> then they are so happy that they go into a field of flowers to go flower picking and sissy is there's a really good, like, you really liked the, the way he said no. Because mm-hmm. Sissy asked him, do you have more flowers than me? Mm-hmm. And, there, and there's a weird, oh there's a God, cut. Yes. And there's a weird long pause. Franz is just staring. And then he says, nine. And he, he very enthusiastically. And he laughs, smiles like a crazy yeah. person. Like, it was <laughs> so good. Like, he, I'm like, oh, if this, he, he looked, uh, in this moment, he looked like Dexter, who's just, like, right now at the be- Figuring out of how to kill his next target. Funny that you say that because I was about to say he looks like Ted Bundy. Oh, nice! Yeah, that so totally works. he totally has that serial, serial killer, killer vibe. Yes, yeah. yeah, and the thousand yards there. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> I'm dead inside. I've actually never seen Karl Heinz Böhm act before, and everybody told me like he's a classic. Also oh, he's actor. he's a great actor. But this seriously, this performance is no, no, weirding no, 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 the no, no, shit out of me. It's worse than the two before that as well. So. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah like yeah. he he's kind of phoning it in. Yeah, at this point, definitely. And yeah. even in my opinion, this is slacking too. Uh, well, uh, Romy Schneider is. Well, slacking. then I now I have to see the other two because yeah. I thought she was. Like uh, Romy Schneider has is there's two things I really admire about her that that you have or you don't, which is always good for an actor. She has natural charisma, charisma. Like she just you, when you see her, you can't take your eyes off of her because she's such a character, and mm-hmm. she has a very unique way of speaking. Like it's it's not unnatural, but she has a very a, a rhythm of her own. Oh yeah, it's, it's not as extreme like a Christopher Walken. Yeah, like with the weird pauses and shit. I want more. Yeah, cowbell. Please give me more cowbell. Cowbell. It's crazy. Oh yeah. But she she has her own rhythm and and she, it's she, you believe her. It's yeah. she, she does. She kind of still does the theater acting thing with her looks, but everything she does seems 
natural. Like, she's actually acting and not reacting like a lot of the other actors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, she and the comic relief guy are, are the only ones... That, that really I, I, have agency that I re- in, in their own regard. <laughs> that I... F- from which I believe what I see. Yeah. True. So, yeah. props to her. Yes. So, yeah, and that's where, while uh, flower picking, she gets more sick. Yeah. Yeah. She she runs towards him. Catch me, Franz. <laughs> yeah. And, <that> was, I, <laughs> and she she she's running down the hill, and it it looks like she's running really fast. Yeah. And, and then there's a cut where she's suddenly running snow. Yeah. And it's it's, it's so it, it also this is the scene where it mostly resembles sounds of mu- sound of music. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's a field of flowers and two very white people. Yeah. Picking flowers. Yeah. In the Austrian. Yeah, and, and then she like Franz catches her in her, in his arms and. Well, she's getting sicker. Yeah. It's because of all the silliness and the weird acting of Franz or Karl-Heinz Böhm. It kind of doesn't have the, the, pull, the pull it should have. Yeah. But yeah, we now know, oh, fuck, she's sick. Yeah. she be dead soon. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there's no penicillin back then. There's no... There's no <laughs> Actually, there's there, there was already, wasn't there? Um, so... Um, mm, I don't... No. Fu- nope. This is for... Nope. No I'm, antibiotics I'm go- back then. Nope. Well, fuck. Well, there was... That uh, makes it there, even more dramatic, there, man. There's, there's an... Anti- well, actually, that, that's, a, that's a really interesting... Well, it, it is interesting. It doesn't have anything to do with this. Yeah. Trivia time. Trivia time. I'm actually making this a new <laughs> segment. <laughs> <laughs> then you need an, an intro jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Trivia time. Oh, thank you. I just used that sound pad, added a bit. Perfect. And awesome. P- and pay me. Yes, sure. <laughs> we'll see about that. In, you, you pay me in energy drinks, which yes. I, I needed a lot of to get yeah. through this movie. Yes, you were, you're on your third. Yes, I'm, I'm still drinking energy drinks to yes. just power through. Yes. So trivia time. So there's there's this moss uh, on one rock right uh, on Malta that was uh, actually guarded by the, uh, the, the, the Maltese order. Because the moss had antibiotic uh, properties. Ah. Yeah. So it was back then they just knew it had healing capabilities, and it was and it grew very slowly. So it was a limited resource, and it grew no. It doesn't grow anywhere else on the world. In the world, is it still used? Uh, no, but it's actually now I think a unis. Go side something like that. It's under protection. You can't <laughs> harvest it anymore. Yeah. That was more interesting there's still, than all there, the plots we have heard I think so far. Still, like uh, Maltese police officers are like posted there 24 hours a day. Oh, cool! Because people are just shitheads and try to yeah. steal the stuff. <laughs> This like just there's a Chinese guy who's like, oh, this will get back my boner. Yeah. <laughs> and he sends like five henchmen to get it. That would actually be, make a really good, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 really good movie. <laughs> and and this is where you see how interesting yeah. of a movie is, this sissy movie is that a, a, a story about moss on a rock <laughs> yeah. is more captivating Slowly than the whole... growing moss on a yeah, rock. It's more entertaining than this movie. <laughs> But now we come to a very yeah. important scene, and oh, yes. one which I actually liked. Oh yeah, is like like Sissy is now really sick. She's at home, yeah. and doctors are they are not telling her that she's sick yeah. because they want to. Doctor you know, Colonel Sanders. Yes, he yeah. he will come up soon, <laughs> and Sissy she gets up to walk around because she has an hour to walk around where they allow her to be out. Yeah. And she opens like a secret door and she overhears Franz yes. talking to his mother. And yeah. his mother is telling him to basically son, sit, sever yeah, sit, every connection. Yeah, yeah. He, with he t- her. She tells him that Sissy is sick yeah. and probably going to die. And he will contract a sickness if he kisses her. And, and yeah. he has to think about an, an heir. Yeah. Like he has to ditch her and, and because she only make gave more children. Because she only gave her daughter to this point. And this actually is a very well done scene, I thought. Mm-hmm. It was real yeah. dramatic because yeah. um, you see um, Franz and his mother talking and she's trying to talk him out of loving her. And she's, yeah. he's like, no, I love her. And the cool thing is like it cuts back and forth between Sissy and them. You, mm. And you see Romy, uh, just you see Sissy just reacting and yeah. she's heartbroken. Yes. And th- that actually was pretty much the only scene where I felt the drama. Like that was, yeah. that was moving. Yeah. 
Like, but with every scene in this movie, it goes on way too long. Yes, and it then starts it, repeating itself yeah, thrice. Yeah. They 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 give you information you've already had for the entire movie and again and again. But other than that, I thought that that was probably the most dramatic and and well made dramatic scene in yeah. the movie. And uh, but it's immediately undercut too by the yeah. sneaking, which is like a minute of her slowly moving, to, uh, creeping on 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 like Sissy creeping on. Uh, yeah, the, the mother, the mother leaves, and yeah. Franz is devastated on his desk. Yeah, and starts silence. Weeping, no, starts weeping loudly, and then and they silently. just cut out the sound of yeah. him weeping, and he's and, like and again. buckling, like he's. Tr- it's like if somebody tries to give himself head. Yeah, <laughs> out of a last year time. Yeah, yeah. And again, Karl Heinz Böhm phoning it in, like. You what st- are you driving? <laughs> An auto filatio. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and again, Karl Boom is just phoning it in. Like yeah. the first crying scene, he's shaking like it's very unnatural. And and then he lays down and doesn't move at all. So funny. This is just shitty acting. So funny. Oh, so yeah. uh, they meet and and they still love each other. Yes. That's the whole point of this. And and then they yeah. cut to more repetition and bullshit yeah. exposition. And like we have like ten scenes following where everybody is informed that Sissy is sick. Yes, and it's the same dialogue over and over Everybody's again. Everybody's reacting basically. The like same they way. beat yeah. it over your head, and you yeah. al- you already knew. Like I think from the last hour I from the Mula Chuck on. That's the first time I drifted off a bit and didn't, didn't yeah. really follow anything it, anymore. It, it really takes your concentration to. And I think keep that was up. also the point where we're like. Oh, how long is left in the movie? And it's like an hour left in the movie or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought it's, wow, how long is this movie? Like five hours? Like yeah. we've been here five hours, right? It was like 40 minutes. It. I think this is the first time that time travel does exist. Yeah. <laughs> this movie like it, just, it creates like a zone where time moves slow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. In, yeah. in that regard. <laughs> um, what else? Oh yeah. Talk oh yeah. Now, now she's sick and she's like in in a very warm, very warm climate. Yeah. What? <laughs> she's dying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's perfectly dressed, perfect hair. Yes. And she's telling. She's, she's like in this beautiful mansion outside with palm trees and the yeah. sun and like. Yeah. A, a, a mansion worth probably millions of of dollars or or euros or Kronen at that time. Yeah. And she's just telling us she's sick because you wouldn't believe it if you see her. She just seems like the most happy vacation yeah, goer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she seems very content. It's very eat, pray, love. <laughs> I'm just like yeah, I'm just ma- taking me time right now. I mean, now. That's, again, that's that's ve- <laughs> that's very theater. Like um, everything has to be pretty. Yes, we we can't be gritty and ugly because everything has everything in this yeah. movie looks like a candy wrapper. Like yeah, everything, yeah. Even, even it's so very blue and 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 very. Pink, like those yeah. old candy wrappers, like right. your grandmother gives Even you. Even the gypsies looked well dressed yeah. and clean. This whole movie is it is like, pretty you much. You don't have running water, guys. Yeah. you can't have that nice of a shirt. I, There's I think, no washing machine in the yeah, background. That's a pretty good metaphor. Like this whole movie is hard candy. Like your <laughs> grandmother used to give you. It has pretty foil that's out of out of date with its style, yeah. and and it used to be a treat back then because yeah. there was nothing else. But now it's just. It just takes a lot of time to get through, and it's not that would, good, actually. I actually would compare it to Firn, if you know Firn. Because Sounds it's like, like a menthol, it's a menthol hard candy, but it's filled with shitty chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> it's like, it has like this, this uh, white, uh, It looks li- like thin. a Pez. It looks like a print, transparent I know. Pez. Isn't that the one when you, when you suck it, that it gets really sharp, and, and yeah, you, you, you cut, cut open your whole yeah, mouth? It's really shitty candy. Yeah, this is Firn. This movie is Firn. F- film the movie. Yeah. Suddenly <laughs> sissy. Yeah. Part three. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a world where everything is pink and blue. Yeah. Starring Sissy. <laughs> Sissy's trying to look sick, but she's beautiful. Coming this Friday. <laughs> the makeup. Bring energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> or cocaine. Just <laughs> sponsored just, by just, time traveling. Just just take a bump of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, take t- and then d- just take everything you can that has... Yeah. That has caffeine or cocaine just take everything you yeah. can D- don't take fern don't take film yeah so please don't <laughs> we're, we're and very then, concerned and then she 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 moves a, so what was her first stop where was she oh, she's Mallorca. traveling yeah she, the, first the, she's in yeah. Mallorca and now she's traveling to, <laughs> then she travels to Corfu 
uh, all think, over the place, and it's, no, it's really not important. I think it's Hungary part something with where the people speak Portuguese, then Greek, then oh god damn it, what was uh, well, and then Italy, then Italy. Another thing that starts happening from now on is that we see the comic relief guy. Yes, getting the ladies like he, oh, yeah. he, and he, he gets better every he travel, time. He travels with Sissy, and in every country he's in, like he he falls in he love gets immediately. Late. Yeah, it's great. These yeah. are like again they add nothing, but they are at least watchable like yes enjoyable. Add, enjoyable this is these are the only times where time travel stops and yeah, time actually, flows naturally yeah and you're actually clamoring like please please one more scene with him please don't, yeah. don't make this storyline stop but even, even with him the repetition kills it because like yeah. the third time it's the same scene over and over again well like, he gets yeah, better with, he gets better with every, with every yeah but it kind of loses I, I lost interest at the last like <laughs> I'm, 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 because I knew what was about to happen yeah. it was funny to see him transition from being like a buffoon to yeah. the ladies man and he never gets turned down. Like yep. he, he's the most successful guy ever. Well, like, he's he's no, no, a good-looking no, guy. Yeah, yeah. But even when he's basically Barney Stinson, he, he wears yes. a suit all the time. Yeah, he has cheap, cheap dresser. lines. Yes, good-looking, blonde, yeah. tall man. Always a, a a lovely smile on his face. That, and as you said, the actor yeah. probably gay in real life. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. That could be very be very much it but you know in 1957 it was still punishable with i think six months of, oh yeah that's true of Fuck. prison time well those thankfully those times are, are gone yeah um i think they called it uh schwerer kerker yeah yeah yay it did uh being I, i've heard this today yeah. um like in sweden or mm -hmm. I, th i think one of one of sweden finland or, or norway. norway it was illegal to be homosexual until 1992 it was no a punishable way, crime really <laughs> your face is like no he didn't no yeah. oh, that, come that, on man that, that, po that pause you that pause you just heard, that pause you just heard that pause you just heard was was me just looking at him in disbelief did you really go there i should add a chirp chirp noise <laughs> in there <laughs> yeah. okay again there's yes. there's a lot of exposition going on yeah. again there's literally a scene a scene where um, Colonel Sanders is in a room with his mother and sorry, doctor. Colonel doctor, <laughs> there's there's a, a doctor who looks exactly like Colonel Sanders. One, I, I'm gonna like take really, a, I'm gonna really, take, really, I'm really. A, I'm gonna take a screenshot and put it on FF of the on the FF page because like he's this is he's amazing. the Colonel. This is and there, there's stuff. a scene where he he tells um, Sissy's mother that she's sick, or he tells somebody that she's getting better. And then somebody else walks in and he literally says the same sentences, the same lines again for yes. them. And it's like 10 lines too. Yeah. And you're like, we just heard this. Maybe somebody, they, maybe is, is there an editor or did it just maybe go through one roll of film and put it on screen? What the fuck happened there? <laughs> Where's quality control? <laughs> God damn you people. <laughs> and at least in my opinion, they, they slipped in that regard way more than... They slipped in that regard way more than with the with the with the first two movies. They still had a ton of repetition in them, but it's not as bad. You're just trying to make me watch the first yes, two. Yes, like I'm pranking <laughs> into you watching. And, and, it. and sadly, like, no, no, you're gonna watch the first one, be really disappointed, text me, and I'm like, no, 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 no. The second one is where it's yeah. really good. <laughs> and you know, sadly, it's working. I'm really intrigued now. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. All right, so now we see Sissy get better, and the the, yeah. the really stupid thing is like they tell her <laughs> oh, she the has. Oh, really stupid thing. Well, but this is this is probably number one because they tell her to get better. Like you're really sick, and and it turns oh, yes, out yes. It, it turns out she has. This is amazing. No, no, you you probably mean something else, but uh, but tell me. Oh, it's uh, after uh, I'm done. The, the, yeah, the mom. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, they tell her she has uh, lung sickness. Yeah. And she needs to change climate. Yeah. And they go to Kofu for that, which yeah. is a really warm climate. But they've they, they they've been in a very warm and, and tropical almost climate before, so they yes. change from warm to slightly warmer. Yes, that's and she <laughs> recovers fully. Yes, in a month or something. Three months. She was three months in Kofu. Yeah. Well, for a lung sickness, that's not It's bad. way too quick either yeah. way. Yeah, and again, no antibiotics back then. Yeah. Like you, what did you mean with the mom? Oh no, the, the, um. <laughs> Her mom visits her and oh, yeah. she gives her a pep talk. Good and the Lord. pep talk basically was, look at the 
uh, at the poor bourgeois poor women when they are sick they just still go at the work and then they forget about being sick and that means they are not sick anymore so yeah. you should do the same thing so get your fucking yeah feet on the ground and start and walking again and that works yeah again that's that scene is pretty much white rich people <laughs> she, she's telling they Bad never worked people problems yeah they never worked a day in their life and she tells her you need to go work to distract yourself and their idea of working is walking at the beach in, yeah. pre in pretty dresses <laughs> so again it's it's white people yes privilege all around yeah yeah it's amazing. it's well again uh, they're royalty it's even that's it, also very stupid that, you're right but, uh, but i think yeah. way higher level of normal privilege like that that is privilege I yeah, like know. they they live like well, literally kings and queens. Yeah, in which is what they are. Privilege. Yeah. <laughs> so keep it in the so that that happens. She suddenly, yeah. the the main plot point, which I thought was the main plot point, is now gone because she's healthy and now she'll she's traveling some more. Right. Yeah. And the the next the scenes are also the same. Yeah. She's in Italy and people revolt against her being there, like they're at this opera. And it's instead of really funny. instead of playing really the funny. Austrian hymn, they play like an Italian song. But she sees yeah. above it and claps, and they're like, "Hey, she's cool." Yeah, and then then she goes also to also that didn't yeah. have a real payoff. I thought when when yes. they when they the the because the Italian royalty sent in Milan said the, the Milan royalty sent their yeah instead servants. of coming them instead of coming themselves yeah. just as a mockery, they send the servants. Uh, the servants. But yeah. one one of the cool aristocrat he comes anyway yeah and he tells all the others what, what they, they missed, missed out yeah. on and that um their servants were introduced as them like yeah. they're the it backfired yeah which is actually a cool concept yeah but it takes so long and it's so badly paced that and it nobody just, explains it it's to you. nobody explains to you about how how royal receptions work or yeah what like you're just mean, thrown what, in the cold what, water yeah, what are the ramifications you're struggling to understand what's going on yeah. and, and it's so again it's so slowly paced because the, the song they play the yeah. italian song in spite of her being there yeah is played fully it's yes. like a three to four minute piece I, and nothing I guess, happens. I guess if you're really good in 1870s, if you're really well versed in 1870s uh, Central Central European uh, uh, court rules, you really get a kick out of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think there's yeah there's a big group out there just waiting for <laughs> to see that movie. Yeah. Um, Swimming through the sea of slow syrup that is this movie. Yes, and. Yeah, and then they just change location. They and go do to the Venice. same thing again. Like yeah. there are others. The Italians are revolting. Well, not really. Is it really not really uh, rebelling just being or passive, whatever? Aggressive. Yeah. By not showing up, or and those who show up Italian are flags. Yeah, yes. And and this is just like. Just because of her presence, basically, the Italians are like, oh, oh she's cool. Just another another so thing from the scene before. So we this dictatorship, basically. Just quickly, another scene from the uh, opera thing, like. Again, this this shows as it's a good idea, badly executed with repetition and bad timing. Mm -hmm. Like there's this scene going on where the servants are introduced as aristocrats, which is haha, it backfired on them. But they introduce like instead of sh doing it once or twice, they introduce like seven characters yes. who are no at, at yeah. no point important before or after, I and it goes I on and on. I think they were meant to be hilarious because they all look different, but yeah. but it just it's, fell it's, flat. Especially because they they showed a, a, a small person, like a like a Peter Dinklage kind of da guy yeah. in a suit, and the only joke I could think of is "haha, he's tiny." Yeah, but those were different times. This probably was received as funny then. Yes, yes. But, but still, it's it's they do that's this. That age is really the, the choke. The choke is understood like really quickly, and yeah. they just kick the pun over and over. It's like kicking a dead horse. Like we get mm. it. I'm not that stupid, and I, I I don't think that audiences back then were that stupid. But I yeah. I do see why uh, they thought it was funny because different times again. Yeah, 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 definitely. So we are now finally g yeah, I'm, I'm coming th towards the end of the movie. Oh, finally, yes. We have a big gondola scene. This is the fucking third time where they finish off with boats. Like yeah. in the last movie and in the first movie, they finish with boats. What, yeah. what is the obsession with driving on the water with these movies? It shows that they had budget. Oh, yes, yes, I it's, guess. It's, it's pretty yeah, much so a, a pissing a contest. It's a huge scene. Yeah. Like, all those extras. 
Yeah. All those costumes. They are they are really just showing off their budget cock. All those cock. fucking pigeons. <laughs> like, look at how big our budget dick is. And they, I, it seems like they had a lot of because budget. Because they all shot on location. It is a pretty it is yeah. a pretty movie. That I yeah. will give it. Yeah. Like, it is old school pretty, like I said. Like, yeah, hard, yeah. hard candy wrapper. Like, pink oh, yeah. and, and, yeah. and blue. Well, and the, very color, the colors also pop more because it is... Digitally remastered. Okay. So why? <laughs> <laughs> just, just let it die. Don't bring it back. We, f- we fought hard. Oh, we... That, again, it's a, it's a money maker. Yes. Still, up to this point. Yeah. So. Um, and yeah. also, when we are now in this scene with them being on the gondola. Yeah. Suddenly, like, even even until now, there was always a bit of drama, but it was very lighthearted. Yeah. And suddenly. It becomes like their boat ride is really somber, yeah, and uh, kind of depressing and dramatic, and still it, it like doesn't, I it doesn't work. An assassination attempt at any yeah, moment. like the, 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 the music stops. It's very dramatic. You're hoping that something happens, and then they just are done Nothing. with the boat ride. Yeah, and then the Italians are like, oh, they 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 uh, like CC uh, sees her kid finally yeah. again. They're at the reception, and big surprise, her kid is there, yeah. and I don't give a shit. Yeah, but the, who the fucking Italians cares? Are like, Woo! Like it doesn't She's pay a off, mama. and then the best thing of the movie happens. It ends. Yes, <laughs> by walking into a church with doves again. Yes, which you pointed out. They start with with pigeons and they end, end with, with pigeons, pigeons yeah. which I think is pretty cool. Like yeah, but yeah. Yeah, so it's circular. The so movie. yay, pigeons! It, nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's circular. Yeah, the beginning but, and the end. But at least the they're end. consistent. Nothing happens all the time. Yeah. Con- consistently boring is still consistent. Yes, the you, output I can level give doesn't them that. surprise. The, yeah. the output level doesn't surprise. Yes. Oh, we're finally done with the plot. Thank fucking God. Well, plots, yes. if, if you can call it that. Yeah, it's 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 good to put you to sleep. Yes. Um, with a it's, pillow it's, over your head. And uh, yeah. <laughs> let's move on to cinematography. So, All right. So, as we already said, this is a beautiful movie it is it's very pretty yeah and i think it, it is published over from the first and second yeah. as well i think it's very important to know that it's published by kopierwerk grinzing yeah. <laughs> which is such an austrian name yes kopierwerk grinzing yes i yes, just had is. to mention that like yeah please kopierwerk grinzing if you hear this please contact me the i want to work is, with you the thing is that that actually make per- per- perfect sense because from my history uh studies i had to uh like digitally input uh old registers of mm-hmm. company names and like something like that po- popped up like all the yeah. time <laughs> like mischwerk and kopierwerk yeah it's, it's all, all those old names it's, it's mostly work yeah it's mostly work yeah so um well cinematography i i always because i am an actor i always see it from an actor's standpoint mm-hmm. and one thing that's with Pretty much all of these movies is there's the shots are very very long. Yeah. There's a lot of one takes. So yeah. even if the acting is n- it's theater acting in front of a camera as already mentioned. Yeah. But e- even with that in mind, kudos to the actors for like they there's scenes that take two to three minutes with a lot of dialogue yeah. or, or just lines. Yes. And they do it in one take. Yeah. And they fucking yeah. had <laughs> back then they. The old generation had well, guts, and, again, and, and they, they learned their lines well, and didn't fuck around you with can, cocaine. You can, you can have guts and still do short scenes, yeah. <laughs> but because that's again, it's that's still because of the theater, because you were mm-hmm. used to just let yeah. somebody talk, and the back and forth cutting wasn't that established. Right. So I, 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 I'm not saying this is a good thing. It's just something that I noticed that the actors had to be like, yeah. And their scenes were like with the comic relief. But the, ca- but the, the shots all were very well. So framed, it's 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 impressive, but in a way that I still wouldn't do it because you don't have to, and it, it doesn't it doesn't add anything. But yeah. kudos to the actors for being that disciplined. Yeah. Especially like the comic relief actor has a scene where he does a Hungarian dance mm-hmm. that looks really exhausting. Like he's yes. jumping up and down on both feet in yeah. a rhythm pattern, and then he has like 20, 30 lines. Yes. Yeah. And it's all one, sh- well, not one shot. There's, right? it's like, uh, there's, it is a one shot on the dance and then a long part of dialogue and then it's, yeah. it's the first cut. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, yeah. The, it, 
in that regard they there's real craftsmanship but nothing yeah. nothing that really surprises you there's yeah. no like amazing dolly shot yeah. or like a zoom and pan or some pan and zoom pan and zoom yeah the, all the cuts like yeah. all the transitions are very first of all it's simple very static yes and yeah. at times very weird like like <laughs> The cuts, like, y you need a second to see the, the change of scenes. Like, yes. But they cut and you think you're still in the same room and suddenly you're in Italy with a bunch of different characters. Like, wait, 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 what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Where am I? Yeah, you really hope for those, you know, when, when it's like a Bond movie where it says Munich, Germany or yeah. something like that. You, I, I'm, I'm like, why didn't would have that helped. Exist, exist back then? It would really help out in this regard. Because nobody fucking mentions it where they are until like five or ten minutes or when they leave basically yeah, like, that place oh by the way we were here so not only bad pacing but bad context setting yes yes and that, that, I think You're that pretty much sums guessing. up the cinematography there's not much to say because there is not a lot of cinematography it's yeah. very theater based yeah it's totally. show, show it is they, they're, they're telling not showing so yes. there's a lot of talking yeah as I said and will probably say again a lot of repetition yeah and it's all about hearing and not showing things like w what you do now in movies is ch show the actions and you understand what is happening right. but they tell you over and over again it's exposition mm -hmm. like you in theater you have to do it yeah. but again in movies you shouldn't have to and they did because of the times so that is that is all i have on the cinematography yeah it, uh, again as i said with the previous two because nothing really changed it's very yeah. it's serviceable but nothing surprises you and yeah. um yeah they kind of just middling. phone it in, yeah. Middling, middling. Five out of ten. <laughs> I don't fine. care. Out of ten. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't really. Give not a not fuck. impressed. Out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to sounds. Sound. Yes. Um. So. <laughs> uh, the introduction. We already talked about it a little bit, but there are those. There, there's there are a bunch of times where the sound just cuts out yeah completely they, they do it for or they have one sound they do it. it for dramatic effects like whenever there's a dra if the sound cuts off you know there's going to be dramatic information delivered to you yeah like it's it's uh, the music is all the same but it's anywhere it's like, between oh, 10 no, no, seconds no, 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 and put, yeah but it cuts and you know fuck something's going down but and, and it really doesn't the silence is anything between 10 seconds and like two minutes or something like that. yeah like uh <laughs> silence is something that you shouldn't notice in movies and here sometimes you do yeah it's really great if, if it's if it's used uh in a good way it can add so much oh yeah 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 and here it is pretty much not done in that way no no not no, not no. once but no nope. but but you one thing i will give give this credit for the the sound stage is really well done like you hear everybody especially for 1957 like yeah. the sound is you 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 hear every <coughs> you hear every character there's Little to no ADR, at least that, well, that's I, what I, I noticed. I actually the, thought the only, that it was a lot. The, the only thing that I really noticed was the, the in the Scala in Milan, where they had the, the audience sing yeah. and it wasn't uh, lip synced at all. For people who don't know, ADR is re-recording yes. yourself because on the original... Um, recording the recording. fucked up or something or it's, it's just changed. not heard. Yeah. So the actors come back to the studio to re-record their lines exactly. to be understood. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but I, I actually noted it down that it happened a lot because there's, and the sound design, I was disappointed in it sometimes because, especially in the first half, like with Andrashi, yeah. they are, they are walking, like they are changing depth, they're walking into the woods and it's right. obviously ADR and they're not, oh, yes, they're not yes, yes. changing the depth fast enough. Like you can yeah. notice that yeah. it's recorded afterwards because yeah. they are not editing the sound yeah. to be in the depth. Yeah. Uh, as the actors are. Yeah. No, but the thing is, I think shooting outside back then was a nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's, that, like, still, that is true. It's still shitty to shoot outdoors, but back then it must have been horrible. Yeah, and that that's probably the thing because um, the only times I really noticed that it's re recorded was in outside shots, so that's probably the thing. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I didn't <laughs> think about it, but yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Don't get smug on me. <laughs> Outsmarted my co-host again. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> yeah, that that was was the whole point of this this whole podcast. Is look how smart I am. It's just you. Mm-hmm. It's basically you jerking off. Yes, yeah. Oh, I mess a bit regularly to my own episodes. Well, I just I cut out my co-host words completely, <laughs> and it's just me talking. So I can also jerk off. Can you send me the cutouts of me so I can jerk oh, off yeah, to myself? Oh yeah, you get the scraps. Yes, thank you. The the, the stuff that I can't use. M- yeah, my, it's not for me. my my dick <laughs> and wank rag will thank you. <laughs> Does it have a name? My wank rag? <laughs> it should, shouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I'll call it... What's Spongy. Your, what's your middle name? <laughs> oh, Jacob. Oh, no, it's Jacob. <laughs> no, it's Jake Off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you give me a look, chirp, so... Chirp, chirp. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I noted down for sound is, like, it has a very, very soothing intro song. Like, it's... Uh, but the thing is it goes on for so long that it kind of drives you mad and you start to hate it like oh this is nice oh this is still going when's it going to end it's not ending please stop and then the first time silence happens and you're actually thanking god yeah yeah, yeah. because it it really was about to drive me fucking bonkers (laughs) just the whole song over and over like it's madness yeah yeah. (laughs) Mm, delicious madness um yeah but otherwise, and yes, yeah, we mentioned silence for for yeah, dramatic effect yeah. is used but all I'll, the time. Like yeah. every dramatic scene has silence. But There's no exception. I, I, I like I like most of the compositions. <laughs> most of the yeah, most that is true. It is a very fitting music for uh, what the movie is. It's mm-hmm. un, an unsurprising choice, but very very fitting. Yeah. <laughs> one so, one thing we notice at the end of the movie, like they are walking uh, to this reception, like outdoors in Italy yeah. in Venice, and you can <laughs> they're walking on a red carpet. And yeah. you, you can hear the yeah. foot, yes. footsteps, yes. Yes. and yes. It, it's not carpet. No. Nope. And then suddenly it stops because yeah. they seem to have realized it, and then it starts again. Yeah, it's so that funny. Is, that is really fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, like it's like um, two different people edited two different scenes. Yeah, it's ghost steps, yeah. basically. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> that were left, left over. There were like that's a million a steps in the original recording, and yeah. that's the. The, the maximum amount of how they could filter out back then steps apparently or, or the sound guys had to fill their hours to get paid yeah. like, <laughs> let's just fuck around with, with Foley he was a union guy that's why he didn't yeah. finish his work <laughs> <laughs> I'm contractually only obligated to remove 35 step sounds every every three months so, so, I'm, so fuck I, off I have, yeah I have my limit on uh, step removal yeah that was a bit of fuck up but a minor one but yeah. I thought it was funny That's yeah and a, um, otherwise again like the cinematography very serviceable yes it, it, nothing exceptional yeah it just helps transport information yeah. which in this case is boring agreed <laughs> and like a few ADRs uh, things but now that you yeah. explained to me that outdoors is a bitch yeah that makes sense for the yeah. time and that's all I have on sound. Okay, yeah, great, me too. Uh, let's move on to best moments. I have. I uh, like that you do like some 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 sound. For some yes, I'm I'm here to please. Yes, you you you, you just me. you just tell me what voice or or effect to do, and I'll do it you for you. Please me very efficiently, my good sir. Yes, it's very Not- efficiently, yeah. <laughs> this is the Austrian way. <laughs> Oh yeah, the we please in under two <laughs> minutes, so it's for free. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, that is how uh, Americans do us. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, or oh, Arnie, come on! Yeah, come on, man! Come on now! <laughs> yeah, watch CC. Yes. Oh, finally, somebody who else else who can do a good Arnie. I'm so happy. <laughs> You Very proud be- to be here. Thank you for yeah. Yeah, thank you. yes. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this. And, is, oh shit. Well, well this oh, is something oh, I, I thought uh, an Arnie quote is something that's pretty fitting yeah. to the experience you have in the while watching the movie, which is kill me, kill me now, <laughs> please. <laughs> so yeah, we worked that in perfectly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, best moment. Oh, I've, it, I've, it, would, would this movie be better? Right, okay. Would it be better if Arnold Schwarzenegger did it? Yeah. Fuck well, yeah. <laughs> no, we, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, like, ah, CC, CC, you are sick. <laughs> and he also plays CC. I will, I will always love CC. you, CC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick, Franz. Franzi, I love you. <laughs> Come here, let's cuddle. <laughs> I'm the emperor. <laughs> Just every voice is Arnold. <laughs> Miss, Miss Kaiser, you're sick. You will die now. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, Lie down! Oh, oh, oh! This is 
Okay. Um, oh, I'm oh, so okay. happy. Best I'm moments. So, I'm so happy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I have to write this down so I'm not forgetting this. <laughs> moments and ideas. Oh, oh I'm, I'm glad to be of inspiration. And ideas. Yes. I'm so full of ideas now. I could be like a I, governor or something. Yes. My head is exploding with yes. inspiration. Yes, yes. You could say I have a think tank. <laughs> running through your brain <laughs> okay <laughs> like that's mad Arnie <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just turning insane yeah. slowly but steadily yeah what w killed the dinosaurs <laughs> first CC down the world yeah. <laughs> come on everybody march we protest CC <laughs> fuck France fuck the Kaiser fuck, fuck Italy they only make pizza and that's <laughs> it Okay, right. uh, <laughs> we've overdone the Arnold yeah, thing. Yes, Arnold. We will come back to it, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, best moments. Yes. I have a personal best moment and a critical best moment. Yes, please. Share, My share personal them. best moment is like in the aforementioned scene where the comic relief character yes. is dancing. Okay, and then, yes. then, he, then he meets, it's the first girl he meets uh -oh. in his, I think in yes, his... Yes, uh, the Hungarian girl. His first success. Yeah. In getting laid. Because in the second movie, okay, so in yeah. the first movie he was antagonizing yeah. CC. In the second one, he felt well, at the end of the yeah. first one or at the beginning of the second one, it's like made clear yeah. that he fell in love with yes, CC. Okay. And now it's the in comic the third, He's like, ah, move but on. Uh, that is yeah. not that is working up to the scene yeah. I, I'm talking about because then he he um, they tell him he has to travel yeah. to another country yeah. and he sits down with his Hungarian hoe and. <laughs> And they, they share. His hoo -hoo. She, he tells her, and they are very sad. And she starts crying, and he starts crying. Yeah. And like the violin player gets in really close. <laughs> and it's oh a, ve God, it's I a totally very, forget, forgot it, about it's it's a very modern slapstick. Like this would still oh, be funny, so like an funny. Anchorman three or something. And so it's hilarious. Funny. Like yes. he commits so hard. She's yes. playing good too. And like the the yeah. violin guy with his creepy stare gets yeah. close and close. Like the violin's in his face and they are sobbing away oh this is hilarious yes. this was my personal favorite moment yes and we talked about this before i think the best critical from a critical or yeah. dramatic view is um the first part of the scene where sissy finds out right. that she's sick by listening to franz and mm -hmm. his mother talk about th that was really actually tear inducing like that was heart warming and then yeah. they fucked it up with repetition <laughs> yeah um for me uh Damn this movie! Damn, <laughs> damn this movie! It's so hard because you took already like ha! two, two really, really beat you to the punch. Yeah, you really be, beat you mean, to you mean you mean the only two good scenes? <laughs> <laughs> so have fun picking no, that, something that, that, else. There has to be something else. There has to be something else. Um, I guess. Um, God damn this movie! Um, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, it was uh, the first time you see the doctor, Carl Sanders. Oh, yeah. Like that was my per one of my personal favorite moments. Yeah. That that Doctor Carl Sanders was in charge of healing. Like even f even f uh, for that time where Carl Sanders wasn't a thing. Yeah. He must have looked silly. Like, oh yeah. Like yeah, yeah. with yeah, like, yeah. the big white hair and, yeah, yeah. and mustache and, and, yeah. and weird yeah, vest. Really cool mustache. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 and he soul looks. Patch. Oh, and soul patch. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. he he looks very over the top for the very dramatic role he plays. Like he's only in yeah. dramatic roles to tell Sissy that he, she's sick and then again that she's healthy. Yeah. After fucking three months in slightly warmer climate. Yeah. And I think the one scene that at least kind of shows you that Sissy has actually some real political chops is the one. With in the in the in the uh, scala, yeah, in the scala, yeah, where opera. she's applauding, yes. even even though they and are then trying she to fuck her up. arranges that the reception will yeah. go on and everything. Yeah, like that, that, that was actually really good. That she actually had some political intrigue yeah. power. They actually showed character yeah. design. Yeah, exactly. Like I said during the watching, that it's like the only, <laughs> the closest thing they ever went to like Game of Thrones intrigue yeah. was this scene, and everything else was like just like yeah, grandmother's hot candy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Film, like fucking a, film. Like again, it was uh, in its core a good scene, but way, way too long. Yes. Way too repetitive. Yeah, that that might be true, but but again, that, that moment only, was actually good. Yeah. It's the only moment where they really showed some that she did, yeah. had agency and did something. I except think. For I think being sick. <laughs> I think we've done it. We have found the three only three good scenes yes. in in CC yeah. three. Yeah. So pro We're done. kudos to We're us. Done. Let's Dro shut dropping, this whole thing. dropping the mic. <laughs> 
done with this now. Let's let, uh, yeah, let, let's move shut, on. Let's sh- let's shut this whole thing down. <laughs> um, no, okay. So yeah, uh, let's move on to our secret category. Secret and, category. And that's best use of a serpent. The app. Oh yeah, but um, we're talking about like um, at that time, <laughs> like you said. Uh, servants were the apps of that time because yes. th- she has a servant for everything. Fucking like everything. To, to put on a dress, another to put uh, to pull it to off again. To even open one button on the back yeah. of her dress, he has she has a servant <laughs> for that. Like yeah, and th- yes, best use of a servant, I guess. What what? Like I I really thought that uh, that maybe there was like a ma- a manhunt thing. If that movie was would be shot now and would be made like really turned up to 11 there would be a manhunt thing yeah. where they're like oh, we're, just hun- we're hunting the most dangerous game Man- mankind yeah exactly. now what, what's your favorite use of a servant uh, you start with the your one button category. thing really killed me like, where, like where, where she's at the doctor and yes she's, and yeah. she's like please the doctor is like please uh, make uh, make please uh, please uh, open your yeah, dress it's free up your back yeah and, and she's like servant and the servant comes over, opens that one button, and the time it takes for the servant to get to her and back takes up more time for like her reaching yeah. to her own back and opening the fucking button. Women have been doing that on their own for millennia, and she's like, "No, I need a guy for that, uh, a girl for that." Well, if she needs a guy for that, she yes, she can go find me. Yeah, yeah, Romy Schneider is really hot. She very much is. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so that that was, I guess, my my free. Again, every single one is great. I think my favorite use of a servant is in the scene where she is sick in bed and we see her for the first time like resting in her candy wrapper bed. Yeah. <laughs> and there, there is a servant that just is there to be told to go away <laughs> oh, yeah. because because she wants to talk in private. Like the scene starts, there's three people and she tells the servant to go out now. It's like the cousin of the director. Yeah, and she yeah, yeah, just a cameo. <laughs> So that is my favorite. What would be the equivalent as an app today? Like something you never use, but everybody has. Oh. Probably like the calculator. Oh, it's a oh, yeah. calculator. I don't fucking need it. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. She's the useless app that. Or she, she's, she's like she, deleted her. Oh, or yeah, she we talked about Tinder. The oh yeah, the, the, yeah, the potential Tinder servants. He <laughs> com- just comes in with portraits of of People. counts. Yeah. <laughs> And just throws them away to left or right, and then oh, she looks through the pile. Again, that would be so fun. Yeah, and then yet she has like fills or the letter and yeah. puts it on a pigeon. So that was my favorite servant. To that respective client. I think that servant who's just there to go away is the equivalent to the unlock screen. Like yes, it, it's it's there, but you yeah. want it to be gone so, yeah. so you can get to the real stuff, <laughs> which is not really an app, but yeah. bear, bear with me. Yes, oh. no, no, it's, an, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a functionality. I just want to be loved. It's a functionality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It was actually patented by uh, Apple, the swipe to unlock thing. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Trivia time. Yeah. Trivia time. Part two. Trivia to trivia time. Trivity trip. Yeah. <laughs> Trivity trip. <laughs> just one guy who's way too late on the timing after the... <laughs> Uh, sorry. And he fucks up yeah. trivia time hit, so he says tribute trip. <laughs> tribute trip of your time. Yay. Like he got the wrong show notes. Or and, something. And, and everybody's mad at him, but he's so happy. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't know. He's like, yeah. ah. I finally made it, guys. Tribute trip. I'm on the show. Yay. <laughs> Yay for me. Yes. <laughs> the derpiest oh. man of them. Oh, all. man. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. that was secret category. Yes. Which uh, we absolutely nailed, I think. Yes, that was. The, oh, and we have the. the the Milka Pope. Oh yeah, there's at the very last scene. <laughs> because the Americans know what milk is. Like, yeah, milk. You get it in for the everyone CBS who doesn't, which should probably be nobody who's listening to this, but uh, Milka is like a brand of chocolate which has two. The, the color set is, um, what's it's white and what's what's the English word for, lila. Is no, it? It's, it's not really purple. It's it's not pink. It's like mauve. Is the, yes. Neustarter for that. It says on your screen. You, God damn it, PC! Don't the, interrupt the, my recording. The computer we're recording on says you have to restart. Fuck you! We're yeah. working here. I can't let you. So uh, the milk. Yeah, there's a pope. Like um, <laughs> the, uh, in the Christmas time, there's there's yeah. so like uh, chocolate Saint Nicholas. Yeah. And he, he looks exactly yeah. like that without a beard like yeah. this. He has like a, a pope's hat and yes. dress, but it's in the milk colors. Yeah, so it looks I really half ridiculous. Ex- I half expected uh, yeah. Sissy to just rip yeah, yeah, like pro- and eat his heart like, out. It was probably product placement. <laughs> 
very smart yeah, very yeah. smart very subtle yeah because they could have gone for that uh, um, Moav cow yeah in the, in oh. the field but they didn't but I would have liked in a movie like this for Sissy just to pull out like a pack of Manoschnitten and <laughs> Like in a dramatic scene where she's coughing, <laughs> like just holding to the camera. And, and mm. Mana was, I think, the official uh, supplier of the uh, Habsburg house. So that actually would make sense. In, in, Trivia the trivia in, in time. A, because that was... Trivia the derp. That's, that's basically... That's yeah. <laughs> I just have to make that sound oh. and you laugh. <laughs> 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 Very uh, good. Sorry, keep going. Uh, oh. Keep going. <laughs> No, it's all yours. We're, we're entering. We're entering the silly zone. Yeah, the, yeah. the energy drink finally takes it's hold of me. It's not the twilight zone. It's the silly zone. Um, um, the, what you was know, my point? Silly oh, zone. God damn, God damn you! <laughs> you mean the sissy zone? Huh? What? Mana. You were yes. talking about Mana yes. providing yeah, that's, for the Habsburg. Basically, that was product placement. Placement before there was product placement. Yeah, because you you didn't have a revolutionary like, movie. Sword, like you you you're not like. Uh, you know, war and yell out, this sword is sponsored by... <laughs> I don't know. Sissy uh, is brought to you by... Yeah, Red Bull. By yeah. Red Bull, yeah. <laughs> like she drinks a Red Bull and that's why she gets up. <laughs> they missed an opportunity there. In 1957, they could have had already had... That's what the, the digitally remastered edition should really have done. Put yeah. tons of product placement digitally inserted into the whole thing. And puts in the guy who played Anakin Skywalker in the f new Star Wars movies. Yes. Because they did it by, the re by remastering yes. first three episodes. They replaced like the yeah. original actor with... Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Chris... Did, what the fuck is the name of the uh, actor who plays Anakin Skywalker? Uh, I don't care anymore. It's... Uh, like just forget yeah. the first Miss, Mr. Poopy Butt yeah Poopy Butthole <laughs> from uh, Rick and Morty yes <laughs> nice got your got your <laughs> there was Pop a, 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 tribu a tribute burp to yes to Morty yeah that's Rick <laughs> oh, Morty Morty, Morty. Oh, I'm very sorry <laughs> Morty we have to we have to <laughs> <laughs> we have to <laughs> Uh, uh, Marty, we have to watch this. Yeah, it's the best movie ever. We're doing both a pretty shitty read. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm running out of voice. To we, be we're, we're from the alternative universe. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where like we've done well with the Arnie, but the Ricks and the Mortys are subpar. Yes, subpar, subpar Ricks. Uh, <laughs> a new show on YouTube, subpar Ricks <laughs> or subpar impressions. Yes. <laughs> like, like, re just do really bad impressions. Like, overdo everything. Like, yes. Not not like a saddle walking like but yeah. saddle walking hello <laughs> walking yeah uh, <laughs> I mean she is kind of hot yeah. you know <laughs> wow come, I'm Christopher come. walking over here <laughs> uh, walking over here uh, uh. please please stop <laughs> I will show myself out thank you very much stop, stop. just stop. <laughs> You live here now. This is not your flat now. <laughs> All right. M more sissy for me. Okay. I think I think we're done now. We can move on. So to that that was uh, the secret category. <laughs> yes. Best use of a servant. Yeah. The app. Very very good. Rated we five out of five stars on. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll rate it <coughs> out of ten. Uh, what would it be like? Uh, to, to I servant? <laughs> no. What would be the Apple product in 1860 for that? I serve. I serve. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah. I, I give it four subpar Rick and Morty's out of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Arbitrary uh, rating systems. I love it. Um, let's move on because we need those now, and that's final conclusion. Yes. The okay. final conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> So um, yeah, my my conclusion to the movie is, it's a, <laughs> well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It's not the worst movie. There's it's, some 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 back talk from the cheap seats. I don't yeah, know if the, if the recording picks that up, but okay. Yeah, so somebody in the offset, don't watch it. <laughs> uh, and it's not my my bag. It's it's not, not your what bag I of tea. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's basically a movie long soap opera. So if you like that, yeah. If you just like it's to be lulled, it's your cup of whiskey, but not your bag of tea. Yeah, <laughs> if you like to be lulled by just watching something for two hours, then I think the movie is free. It's very pretty. Yeah, R Romy Schneider is great. The comedic relief character is great. Yes. Um, it, but it goes for for me as 
with a guy like with my taste, it goes by like swimming through syrup. It's yeah. so slowly paced, yes. and the timing is at times ridiculously slow and, right. and, and badly yeah. paced. So, so how would you recommend if people would watch it? How would you recommend? Like, what should be the state of mind? Should they? Well, what, what would be the the setting they should watch? I, it in? I, like, I would really enjoy this on a big screen. Just to see what, oh, the, yeah, what would the cinematography be, looks yeah, like, especially that would be if they have like an original film role, that would really interest me. Because Agfa, yeah. Agfa, I think was kind of on par at that time with Technicolor. They were both really expensive films, as I recall, but they really mm. made those colors pop back then. But what would I recommend? Um, yeah. Really know what you <laughs> rent out the cinema, yeah. Get an original film role. <laughs> really, really, really know what you're getting into. Yes. Like it's going to be yes. a slow ride, but yes. it's it's a pretty ride. Don't expect any plot or some th some dramatic turns or yeah. or superior acting from most of the supporting actors. Yes. Just it's something to turn off your brain to. Mm. And if you're not in uh, the, the demographic, yeah. I think you most probably will not enjoy it. Right. And the demographic I see like like um like moms. Yeah. Mom, yeah mom, it, it's 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 easy entertainment. It it's, and it's even even when it's dramatic it's very lighthearted. Yeah. And it's too long to be a prank. Oh yeah. Like you can't invite five people like we're going to watch the new Michael Bay movie yeah. and then you put on this and they're like after minute 20 they're like yeah. fuck you dude. So if, if I, <laughs> I want robots to explode now. If I wanted to be a negative Nelly I would say it has no plot whatsoever. <laughs> a lot of random shit and very very slow pacing. Yeah. But on but the positive side we're going to watch the first and second yeah, movie. So I, I, I think I have so to. It, 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 Does something's right. Fuck. <laughs> and if I, it's, it's if, like like a really shitty drug that makes you. Addictive. Oh yeah. It's like cut. You have to chew it for like six hours straight to make it. Have like the, not the, not have worth the, the effort. Yeah, it's totally not worth. It's the not effort. a lot of payoff. A, a, yes. a, a, what do they say? A long walk for a small drink of water. Yes. Yes. And in, on a more positive side, again, it's very pretty. It's a, a good, not great, but a good lead performance. Yes. A great side performance or yeah. a supporting performance. And it's stupid, but okay. Yeah. Okay, stupid. Yes. Embrace the stupid. Yeah. Embrace. So. It's it's silly. It's basically a silly <laughs> movie that doesn't yeah. know that it's silly. Yeah. It's sissy. Yes. It's silly. It's I'm just, silly. I'm just glad that I'm done with it now. Yes. Like, I, I waited through two of those yeah. already. I feel accomplished. I, like, <laughs> I, I did something. Hey, yeah, yeah. you you got the, the back end of it. You weren't number one or number two. Yeah. And you didn't have to wait through all three of them. So, uh, you're yeah. like, oh, I, I already... Like, I did three Iraq tours. <laughs> and you... Or two Iraq tours and one Afghanistan. Because Afghanistan is such... Such a shit show, <laughs> such so much more of a shit show than uh, the, those two Iraq tours. Yeah. And you are like, you did w one Iraq tour and were like already mentally crippled by it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like still feel accomplished. I'm not made up for it. PTSD flashback. Oh, I post traumatic <laughs> sissy sissy <laughs> disorder. Yeah. Yes, awesome. PTSD, <laughs> post traumatic sissy disorder. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> This is the best moment, right at the end. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so you've watched all three. Which is which is your favorite? Uh, or, or rank them. Give them a ranking from worst to best. I think. Oh, it's hard because That's I can't too rank much them. I can't rank them in plot because none of them have plot. Well, uh, the second one definitely benefited from the success of the first one in regards to like the budget. They had way more extras, way more, uh, way the, yeah. the detail. But work. I mean, in your but personal the, opinion. Um, so I would, I would rank him um, two. From worst to best, or from best to worst? From best to worst, two, three, two and three and one, and actually on the same level. One is shorter, but three actually has more funny and and and, mm. and entertaining bits in it. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's two who takes two the is cake. The, two is the, Yeah, definitely. The, the middle P part is yeah. definitely the juiciest. You get to get the least PTSD. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Because the first one, she actually uh, uses uh, 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 um, no, a fishing uh, a fishing line to, to reel to. in the Kaiser. She actually oh. <laughs> she whips back the, the, the Again, rod. Again, that's the, silly. The fishing rod and the, the hook... Like he's riding by at that yeah. exact moment, and it hooks into him. Like very slapsticky. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's yeah. So, so, 
So it's yeah. it's too long, it's silly, and it's adorable. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so um, we're done with this now. So plugs, where can people find you? What what do you do? I will put your links in the description below as well. Yeah. But let the people know where you are and where can people can find you. Yeah, well, right now I'm doing the Schnee Schneider show, which you have to look up because Again, you probably amazing. don't know how to, how to spell. Yeah. Um, just I have my my website is my name.com as Yeah, it's pre basically just my acting profile. So if you want to get in contact with me, you can or just add me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And other shows I'm in is is a YouTube show called Tim Turbo, which is a parody, oh, which nice. is a, which is a parody of Tom Turbo, awesome. which is a kids show with a th talking bicycle. Awesome. And our show is um, a talking ventilator who smokes oil. And so good. From I'm already. Do, do you know it? I'm already. No, no I, I I'm, don't. I'm, I'm gonna watch the shit out of it. Just oh, for, this sounds amazing. I, I got into the show because I read Tim Tom Turbo books yeah. back in the day, and I watched the show. <laughs> and I even was one of the kids that called in with the quizzes. Did you win something? Uh, I actually, I think I won something at one point, or it was a Nesquik okay. uh, hotline thing where I won something. Yeah. One of the two. you can win the, found, this show I, too. I won a safari. Yeah. So it's on. It's on Facebook. So it's Tim Turbo. Austria. Which is kind of a contradiction. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, this is Team Turbo, yeah. and I'm in from episode three. I play the villain Fritzl Phantom, who nice who, who captures nice. the Christkind and and nice. puts us in in his yeah. keller. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, what else? I don't fucking know. Just just uh, I don't know. Google YouTube my uh, name. In that case, Georg I'm really Rauber. sad that we didn't uh, cover the movie, the, the Ulrich Sattel movie uh, in the oh. cellar. Yeah, I, uh, in the basement. It's it's. it's it's supposed to be a documentary, but it's not. It is. It is actually. Yeah. Well, we because, can watch it next time. Because maybe, the Nazis, next time. the Nazis that showed up in that yeah. movie actually got indicted. Oh. Yep. Well, that's kind of good. Yeah. Duh. So, so yay. Yay, yay for real documentary uncovering Austrian assholes. Yay. A A. -A. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Yet. Yeah, um. Yeah. If you want to, just stupid minds think alike. a lot. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Boom! Snap! <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. A lot of people like ha, I don't. I, ha, I don't. <laughs> he's like he's like a like a slice of pizza burnt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always good, good, even if it's shitty, like pizza. <laughs> yeah. So my last plug is if you want to get in contact with me, like a lot of people just write to me on fa on Facebook because I don't have an artist page yet yes. because I'm not that known. So, but a lot of young actors or people contact me. Just on Facebook. Just write me a message, throw me a hello or something. Yeah. I'll I'll respond. A hundred percent. Great hope I have for you. Yes. Is this supposed to be Yoda? Yes, it's my. Is it a, is it again for the show? Bad impressions. Yes, it's my shitty Yoda. <laughs> shitty Yoda, it is. Yes. He's getting kind of in your German impression too. <laughs> yeah, it's a German Yoda. <laughs> 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 so we're ending on a great note. Okay. Uh, yes, we're ending on on on, on a shitty yeah. German Yoda. Um, <laughs> thank thank you for having me. I oh, had a blast. Thank you, thank you for being here. I hope uh, uh, you can coming back for for another episode at some point. Well, there's two more sissies and the Ulrich Seidel movie. No, no, so. yeah, they, we are already covered those. I'm not right, going back right. to those again. No, if no, you'll no, have I'm, me, I'm done with sissy. <laughs> I'm maybe gonna watch them in. 10 years when I'm gonna terrorize my children. All right. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a plan. Yes. But if you'll have me again, I'll be glad to be back. All right. Cool. Thank you, man. <laughs> and uh, see how I did not do it cheap. I'll be back. Arnold impression here. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm proud of myself. That's restraint. That's, yes. That's, I, it's er, like I'm. I'm I'll do it as soon as I leave. Like just scream it out outside. <laughs> that's what uh, really uh, differentiated the. the, the, the the noob from the professional. <laughs> yes. It's those no, no, five no seconds to of stop. restraint. Yes. Five seconds of restraint. You don't so, need any more. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here. And guys, see you the next time. Bye. Bye, everybody. Love you. <laughs>